。来关注巴以局势，加沙地带实现停火是国际社会的迫切期待。当地时间二十七号，以色列总理内塔尼亚胡在第七十九届联大一般性辩论上发表讲话。但是当他走上讲台时，却遭遇了这样一幕：要求加沙地带停火止战的多国代表团，为了表示抗议，纷纷离场。Order, please, ladies and gentlemen, order. <音>尽管遭遇反对。但内塔尼亚胡开场就表示，本不想参加本届联大的他，来到这里就是为了澄清所谓真相。他在讲话中重申，以色列要消灭哈马斯，解救被扣押以方人员，并实现加沙地带非军事化。在谈到该国北部边境局势时，内塔尼亚胡表示。以色列将继续进行对黎巴嫩真主党的军事行动，直到实现以方的所有目标。他还在发言中多次抨击伊朗。离席退场，参加本次联大的多国代表团直接用行动表示了支持加沙地带停火止战的态度。更有一些国家的领导人直接在联大的发言中要求以色列立即停止在加沙地带的流血冲突。斯洛文尼亚总理罗伯特·戈洛布当天在联大一般性辩论中发言称，中东地区局势正在处于深渊的边缘。他敦促以色列立即结束战争。Escalation of Gaza crisis into the region is now a reality. The region is at the brink of an abyss. The escalation is urgently needed, starting with the ceasefires in Gaza and Lebanon. I want to say this out loud and clear to the Israeli government: Stop the bloodshed. Stop the suffering. Bring the hostages home and end the occupation. 巴基斯坦总理夏巴兹·谢里夫在发言中呼吁各国必须立即采取行动，实现停火。Can we, as human beings, remain silent while children lie buried under the rubble of their shattered homes? Can we turn a blind eye to mothers cradling the lifeless bodies of the children? This is not just a conflict. This is systematic slaughter. Of innocent people of Palestine. Ladies and gentlemen, an assault on the very essence of human life and dignity. When we ignore their endless suffering, we diminish our humanity. It is not enough to condemn Mr. President. We must act now and demand an immediate end to this bloodshed.